Hello, everyone. A greeting from the International Labour Organization's Cooperative Unit, where we are celebrating our centenary this year. And uh, on this occasion, we have started a series of interviews with leading cooperators from around the world uh, to ask them about themselves, uh, their experiences with cooperatives, with the uh, International Labour Organization. And today we are uh, very happy to uh, have uh, Mr. Haruyoshi Amano, the manager of International uh, Department at the Japanese uh, Consumer Cooperative Union. Hello, Mr. Amano. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Sinao. Uh, it's my honor to be uh, here among the participants of this series of interview. And first of all, uh, this is the, uh, the interview uh, series uh, commemorating the centennial of the centenary of ILO cooperative units. So let me uh, uh, congratulate the hundredth year of uh, achievement and. Uh, of uh, IRO Cooperative Unit. Thank you very much, Mr. Romano. It's been a, a long uh, co collaboration between ILO uh, and this work on cooperatives, including with uh, Japanese uh, cooperatives, uh, going all the way back to the uh, beginnings of uh, Japanese cooperatives, consumer cooperatives. So, You've been with the cooperative uh, movement uh, for over 35 years. Uh, can you tell us uh, how you got started uh, working with cooperatives? Well, you know, I uh, joined uh, JCCU in 1985, but it was, uh, I joined a, a cooperative movement by chance. Actually, I did know uh, consumer cooperative movement because there is, uh, you know, in my uh, university, there was, uh, there is still a uh, university cooperative, which is hmm. prevalent in the universities and colleges in Japan and very popular. So I did know uh, the existence of a consumer cooperative, but I didn't uh, expect it that uh, I would be dropped in to the co cooperative movement as my job. But uh, so I joined the consumer cooperative by chance, so to say. And uh, this was at the Japanese Consumer Cooperative Union, right? That was mm -hmm. your uh, yes. introduction. And you stayed with them throughout the years at different capacities. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, um, JCC is, uh, the structure of JCCU is that, you know, uh, this is a, a national federation of consumer cooperatives and which have uh, more than uh, 500 uh, consumer cooperatives, primary societies and uh, uh, province unions and other business federations. And then, uh, uh, like the other uh, ordinary uh, private companies, in JCCU, there is a uh, job rotation system, mm. and I experience uh, uh, many kinds of uh, job uh, mm. as the uh, after I get, get uh, into uh, JCCU. Uh, say, do you want to hear about the? <laughs> Yes, I'm examples. very interested because you have shared uh, it with uh, us before. So I'm very interested in uh, the different, of course, areas of work, but especially the one around uh, peace advocacy and climate action, if you would uh -huh. care to elaborate oh, a little oh, bit yes, what you yes, did around those. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, in, in Japan, the consumer cooperative do a, a, a range of what to say, uh, job, uh, business and activities, which is, uh, you cannot find such a, what you say, uh, the organization or uh, co cooperative that do uh, so many, so uh, wide range of activities and business. Uh, 
And uh, actually, consumer co-op's main business is uh, to, 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 to distribute the grocery to members as, uh, through uh, the supermarkets or uh, here in Japan, we have uh, the very unique service of home delivery. But besides them, uh, we do promote uh, many kinds of members' activities involving the uh, co-op members. And uh, one of such uh, activities is um, the peace advocacy or uh, kind of peace movement. And then, you know, um, uh, when I was in charge of, uh, of the, this uh, cooperative peace movement activities, I uh, worked with um, uh, the Japan, uh, it's, the name is the Confederation of Atomic and Hydro Bomb uh, Sufferers Organizations. And we collaborated with the, this organization and supported their, what you say, activities to who pass their experience down to uh, the people who don't know the what happened during the Second World War, and in, in particular in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So uh, we supported uh, their activities to uh, send their photo panels to overseas uh, with it. The, with the uh, name of that, the name of the uh, movement was to uh, uh, have a photo exhibition on mm. atomic bombing all over the world. And so I, uh, we, so this is you, uh, called mm. for all the member organization and the individual members to support this uh, campaign. And uh, we, what you say, raised fund. Uh, mm. So the members, individual members of consumer cooperative raised fund. And uh, I was in charge of, uh, say, the promoting the fundraising campaign. Mm -hmm. And using the fund, we sent uh, the, uh, 20 pieces of photo panels. It was a set of panels which uh, depict the the, what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki uh, during the Second World War, in particular, the, the uh, suffering of the atomic bombing, and sent uh, those uh, sets of panels to over 150 cities around the world. And that was a very, uh, what you say, uh, for me, it was a very, you know, not so exciting, but very, uh, meaningful. Very uh, meaningful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, activity and job for me. Yeah. Which year was that, um, Amanasa? Yes. Which year? Which? Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, it was in 19. We did the uh, campaign for three, uh, three years from okay. 1997 through 2000. 2000. Okay. Yes. What are some of the core activities of the Japanese uh, consumer uh, cooperative union? When mm -hmm. was it established uh, and mean, what does it serve? What is its oh. main purpose? Uh -huh. um, you know, uh, JCC was, uh, was established in uh, 1951 by the leadership of uh, many uh, consumer activists and in particular uh, Dr. Toyoshiko Kagawa, uh, the uh, most important person who played the most important role to, uh, to, to, to lead the consumer cooperative movement and he was uh, the, uh, the, so to say the founder and uh, the first president of the CCU. And, uh, uh, the the main purpose of uh, the establishment of JCCU is to promote, of course, the uh, the co consumer cooperative business and uh, activities. Uh, uh, just after the Second World War, uh, there were 
so many uh, consumer, small, small uh, consumer cooperatives mushroomed because uh, at that time uh, the, the, uh, there, was, there was not enough, uh, what you say, food uh, or other materials uh, to support the uh, lives of people. So it, it was uh, very important for uh, those to uh, gain a kind of, what you say, uh, bargaining power against the, the uh, suppliers. So uh, many uh, uh, consumer cooperatives are organized across the nation and to, uh, to, to, to support uh, such a movement, uh, consumer cooperative uh, have to, what to say, get uh, consolidated. Hmm. So uh, JCCU was established to support such a movement of uh, consumers or citizens. That's a history. You have among your members even uh, health cooperatives. Is that not so? Oh, yes. It's not, uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. uh, the health cooperatives, uh, what we call uh, health and welfare cooperatives, Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, organized, it's a, it's a unique uh, uh, medical co-op. I, I think in some uh, uh, countries, there, there are uh, medical co-ops. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sure. a Japanese one is a very, so to say, a Japanese one is unique. Uh, because um, uh, here in Japan, uh, the health and welfare cooperatives uh, organized not only by the medical staff, doctors and nurses, or other uh, uh, medical technicians, but uh, also the, the ordinary citizens, mm. the uh, residents of local communities uh, become the member of the health and welfare cooperative. So um, on equal footing with uh, those medical staff, so this is uh, what you say. Uh, uh, Multi-stakeholders. Uh, so to the multi-stakeholders, uh, um, doctors. Uh, what is important is that uh, you know medical staff and uh, members uh, who are the users, uh, who could be uh, become the patients at the hospital or clinics, uh, are uh, working together say, uh, invest the sh same amount of share capitals and become the member and participate in the operation of the health and welfare cooperatives on equal footing. So this is a, uh, the unique point of this health, national health, uh, so say, uh, health and welfare cooperative. Cool. And at this moment, I think uh, there are uh, 105, 105, uh, such uh, primary health and welfare cooperatives. And they uh, place the emphasis on the, say, uh, uh, kind of preventive medicine. Hmm. And the, uh, uh, the unique point of uh, activities of such health and welfare cooperative is that they, uh, not only the doctors or nurses or other medical staffs, but also all uh, members, say the active members, uh, uh, jointly uh, promote a kind of uh, members' activities. For example, they organize small groups in local community and uh, attract such members and uh, learn about how to keep a health or do a kind of uh, a blood pressure, what you say, not a test, it's a not a test. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, check the blood uh, pressure, yeah. or mm -hmm. uh, learn about uh, how how to uh, uh, prepare the healthy uh, food or diet. Mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, they are uh, working uh, for uh, the campaign to reduce the sodium or salt in your daily mm -hmm. diet. 
So they do such activities uh, uh, by, uh, let's say, by the members. Yeah. So your work is, uh, your members' uh, work is quite varied from uh, health, uh, well-being to food security and uh, uh, in fact uh, the Japanese Consumer Cooperative Union has adopted a co-op uh, action plan for the sustainable development goals in uh, 2018. Uh, if you could uh, share uh, with us uh, where that came from and what's the highlights or emphases uh, of this uh, action plan. Um, our action plan uh, covers um, around, uh, I can exactly to uh, maybe eight uh, goals. Uh, for example, uh, sustainable uh, consumption and production, and uh, uh, the health, uh, develop the he healthy, uh, let's say, uh, healthful uh, community, or uh, to develop uh, uh, the community where uh, people can live uh, uh, safely and comfortably. And um, of course, peace and uh, peace and justice. And, uh, gender integration and affordable and clean energy. Those are the main points of the, our uh, SDGs action plan. And, uh, um, uh, maybe I? you could elaborate, yeah, on some of them. For instance, this year the International Day of Cooperatives, which falls on the first Saturday of July each year, oh, yes. is uh, on the topic of uh, cooperatives for climate action. So maybe you could share with mm -hmm. us a little bit uh, around uh, SDG uh, actions around the uh, clean energy and. Um, affordable mm -hmm. uh, energy, climate change, these uh, actions. You know, um, at present, uh, JCCU and its member cooperatives um, uh, working to uh, uh, develop um, the uh, re renewable uh, energy, what you say, um, power plant, and use the uh, uh, renewable energy generated in a power plant for the business of consumer cooperatives. This is, uh, I think, one of the uh, largest uh, not say largest, but this is uh, one of the uh, important Main uh, action. Uh, yes, of uh, uh, among the pri private, uh, not say private, uh, civil organizations. Uh, actually, we uh, develop uh, at this moment. Uh, we develop 160 million kilowatt hours of powers per year. And uh, we are planning to uh, uh, increase the power generation uh, to uh, 400 million kilowatt hours in coming 10 years. And, and this uh, is uh, using uh, renewable energy sources? Yes, as well? yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, uh, we cannot do this uh, uh, power generation only by the cooperative, but uh, uh, with the uh, organizations or power generators in local communities, we collaborate to, to generate such uh, renewable energy and uh, use the such energy for the business. And uh, part of them are uh, retailed to cooperative members. By doing so, we uh, are uh, trying to reduce the emission 
of uh, CO2. Um, this is uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, most important, I think, action. Uh, you have uh, collaborated with a number of UN agencies, not just the International Labour Organization. Before I uh, yeah. ask you about your uh, collaboration with ILO, I wanted uh, to ask if you would be uh, so kind to elaborate on your uh, cooperation with the uh, UNICEF uh, around child well-being, uh, yes. child welfare, child labor issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, JCCU and its <laughs> cooperatives, consumer cooperatives as a whole, is one of the, uh, let's say, biggest supporter of UNICEF uh, in Japan. And uh, we are actually, uh, as a group, we, are, I, uh, I think, uh, a, a consumer cooperative group is one of the biggest uh, fundraiser for UNICEF. And uh, uh, actually, uh, we uh, work with uh, UNICEF National Committee of Japan, and uh, okay. we donate uh, the, all the funds raised in, in, during the year to this uh, national committee. And uh, in return, uh, we uh, invite uh, those resource persons from such co national committee or other organizations, or sometimes uh, from uh, UNICEF uh, uh, offices overseas and uh, learn what ha what's happening in uh, not only in developing countries but in many other foreign countries. Uh, in particular, what's happening in uh, children uh, and uh, as well as their mothers. And uh, uh, we learn uh, how we can, what to say, enhance the welfare of those uh, children who are suffering from the uh, the poverty, or and because of the poverty and uh, some other time more of the society, uh, those who can't go to school, uh, even the uh, elementary school, uh, or those who are discriminated because of the their gender or uh, in the background that uh, those discrimination or the poverty happens. So we learn such, uh, say, a fact of what's happening in those countries. And by doing so, uh, we uh, come to understand uh, uh, what we can do as a consumer or uh, the citizen, uh, uh, or those who are, what you say, depressed mm -hmm. in, uh, in the world. You mentioned the uh, gender, gender uh, inequalities uh, as uh, part of this uh, actions with uh, UNICEF. And uh, I'm reminded that uh, founders, initiators of the consumer cooperative movement in Japan, majority were women. And in fact, uh, it continues to be the case that mm -hmm. the membership is uh, largely more than 90% even women in, uh, among yes, uh, yes. consumer cooperatives. Uh, could you share mm -hmm. with us uh, um, what are some of the um, issues, for instance, in uh, advancing women in leadership in uh, consumer cooperatives in Japan? What are some of your thoughts, observations around that? Mm. It's a, a, a very, a, let's say, difficult question, <laughs> but you know, um, the situation uh, is uh, changing uh, gradually. You know, um, in, uh, when a uh, consumer cooperative started, the m majority of married women uh, stayed at home. Uh, they are called, uh, so to say, at, at this present, uh, we don't uh, call them housewives, but at that time, uh, they were called housewives. 
So consumer cooperative was uh, uh, the organization wanted by the housewives and uh, mothers of their children. That was the situation. And mm -hmm. at that time, uh, women had uh, a very uh, ritual, uh, say, pipes for relationship with uh, the business, business or uh, social movement. So uh, they had a very limited opportunity to go uh, to, to, into uh, society. So uh, consumer cooperative uh, functioned as a kind of channel for those uh, women staying at home to go to the activities uh, uh, which are connected with them. Uh, the social uh, movement or uh, business. And so uh, consumer cooperative helped uh, those women to be, uh, say, a uh, uh, person uh, connected with the society. Mm -hmm. That was a, a very important function of consumer cooperative. But now um, uh, many women uh, working out outside and uh, working for companies or other uh, uh, organizations and they are involved with business activities so the the, the function or the uh, what is expected to uh, consumer cooperatives a bit uh, uh, has uh, changed a bit um, but uh, still, um, we are, uh, say, uh, providing uh, important information for the interest of consumers. Um, and uh, of course, uh, we uh, uh, distribute or sell uh, quality products and uh, make a kind of what to say not say a petition but uh, we make a, a voice out opinions that uh, protect the consumers and uh, ordinary citizens so um uh, many uh, i said uh, 90 percent of uh, members are still even now still uh, uh, the members 90 percent of members are women at present, and uh, they expect a consumer cooperative to get such information or products, or which uh, will be beneficial, bene uh, benefiting the consumers. Um, Mr. Amono, we have uh, had the opportunity to work together uh, with the uh, Japanese Consumer Cooperative Union uh, as the ILO, the International Labor Organization through a joint um, uh, African Cooperative Leaders Study Tour. And uh, it's been uh, more than oh, yes, uh, 10 yes. years. Uh, if you can tell us uh, mm. your engagement, how it started and uh, what it's uh, about. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we started um, uh, this um, uh, program for the African Cooperative Leaders. Uh, when we discussed uh, uh, what uh, the ACC or Japanese co cooperatives as a whole can do uh, or with uh, ILO, and uh, the, actually the ILO staff in uh, Japan office uh, mm -hmm. visited the ACCU and uh, told us uh, why don't, uh, don't we uh, uh, collaborate with ILO cooperative unit. Uh, to 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 uh, have a kind of international uh, cooperation project, and uh, actually uh, the CCU and uh, consumer cooperatives have have a, uh, 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 good experiences in uh, the uh, what you say a kind of uh, uh, training programs for uh, consumer cooperative workers and directors of around Asia and Pacific region. Mm -hmm. So um, we uh, consider it's um, the same, uh, uh, same thing and 
uh, we can do the same approach, take the same approach to, to, to uh, work with the African cooperative leaders. Uh, you know, uh, the CCU emphasis, place emphasis in terms of the international cooperation um, uh, to, to, to on the human resource development. You know, actually, uh, we can uh, uh, not uh, provide uh, financial support or give uh, materials or any plants or uh, other uh, what to say, tangible products as a, su a support or assistance uh, for the development of consumer cooperatives of the foreign countries. But we can do uh, a kind of uh, uh, assistance or support uh, for the human resource development by uh, showing and sharing uh, the experiences of our uh, consumer cooperative movement. Uh, we can say that um, uh, consumer cooperatives in Japan is relatively developed. And, uh, uh, and uh, I don't dare to say advanced, but uh, uh, in business term, uh, it's uh, developed. So uh, we can show uh, how we, uh, what to say, uh, come to this uh, way uh, for, and uh, uh, we can um, what is it, tell uh, the experience how we made and how we developed uh, the cooperative movement in Japan and you know and this program is um, that uh, 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 say hosted not only by JCCU but also the other uh, 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 sectors of cooperatives like uh, uh, agricultural cooperatives or uh, financial or insurance cooperatives or the workers cooperatives and uh, we uh, I thought um, not say I thought but uh, actually I thought um, we can uh, Japanese cooperatives can show uh, uh, a diverse uh, development of cooperatives, which may not be found in the African countries. So I thought uh, this uh, would be a very uh, good, uh, what to say, experience for those who have not seen such a diverse uh, development of cooperatives. So uh, that's a start. Of yeah. the, uh, Every course. year, five uh, yeah. leaders from African uh, cooperatives uh, yeah. have been coming, and this is, yeah. the, as you said, a collaboration across the, the different sectors of the Japanese uh, cooperative movement, but also ILO offices yes. in Africa, uh, Co-op Unit, uh, mm -hmm. Tokyo, and ICA, the International Cooperative Alliance in Africa, has also been a partner so it's a, it's a nice ongoing oh, yes. partnership where uh, leaders yes. can see about yeah. health co-ops uh, energy cooperatives uh, student uh, school cooperatives mm -hmm. like you mentioned so it has been a yes. good experience yes uh, yeah. and that's uh, uh, also what you say a uh, good experience for me because uh, we, uh, uh, through the discussion and the meeting with uh, those who uh, participants of this uh, exchange program, um, we learn a lot from uh, them about the cooperative nature. You know, mm. um, one of the participants of this uh, African Co-op Leaders Program uh, told me that um, the uh, Japanese uh, uh, cooperative, in particular, consumer cooperative, have a home delivery business. And they said, uh, she said, uh, one of the participants said that um, uh, uh, she found that uh, co cooperatives are coming to the home of uh, members. Uh, he, uh, in her countries, uh, cooperatives wait for members to come. To, to the them. cooperative, yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, but first, uh, uh, the contrary, uh, in Japan, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, the cooperatives, actually, in fact, uh, cooperative staff uh, comes to uh, talk with the members at their own home. And so this is very what you say. Uh, say uh, what? What? Unique. Different. <laughs> unique, yeah. Different. Say different. D unique. <laughs> and so I, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, think of uh, that thing. I, I didn't have such thought about cooperative. Mm. But uh, she told me that, and mm. this uh, uh, can be applied to not only for the consumers cooperative or, or other retail cooperatives, mm. but uh, mm. also to the, uh, say, uh, medical cooperatives mm. or health cooperatives, mm. if they mm. uh, develop such a cooperative back in their countries. So this is a very, uh, through the, this program, we also have very good experience. And, hmm. uh, and a hmm. good viewpoint about uh, co cooperative activities. Um, in fact, uh, the world uh, uh, work, uh, as we know, it has been changing rapidly in Japan. You are also facing uh, an aging society, and, uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, home delivery services, for instance, is something that is uh, well suited also to the demographics uh, of uh, the society mm -hmm. where uh, the, the aging members can uh, benefit more from some of these uh, home deliveries. Uh, there are of course other changes we are going through, the world is going through a pandemic. Uh, if you would uh, care to say a few words about uh, what has been the experience uh, around uh, the consumer cooperatives in Japan, the wider cooperative movement in Japan, in relation to COVID-19 uh, activities, reaching out to members, communities. You know, um, actually, uh, we, as a consumer cooperative, uh, we could do uh, very little against the COVID-19. But all we could do, and, and now we're doing, is that uh, uh, we uh, continue our ordinary uh, business and services. This is uh, what we can do and what we should do. Um, uh, actually, uh, the, the, the business and services of consumer cooperative is to support the daily ordinary life of uh, members. And uh, what we should do is to continue with the regular uh, what is the supply of daily necessities, in particular uh, quality foods and uh, other, what you say, in, in this uh, period of time uh, uh, under the COVID-19, uh, we have to uh, supply uh, uh, the sanitary items uh, regularly and uh, slavery, and uh, all the members are waiting for the delivery uh, by consumer cooperatives. And actually, we, ha we experience a surge of uh, orders from members, and uh, many members, uh, uh, their sales at the supermarket of cooperatives are uh, sold, and uh, we actually experience the lack of such uh, uh, grocery items in stores and uh, home delivery services, but uh, mm -hmm. we have to keep on uh, say, supplying stable those items to mm -hmm. members. That is our mission. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, besides, um, uh, it's, uh, this COVID-19 is a very, what you say, uh, difficult and a strong enemy. Uh, to uh, battle with or combat, so to say. And uh, um, even though a uh, consumer cooperative want to do uh, more for members of uh, uh, cooperative, but uh, uh, frankly speaking, we can do uh, very limited uh, services 
for uh, the members. That's a situation. But what and you are saying you about know, keeping food supplies, basic necessities, yes, everyday yes, life going yes. is essential. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, yeah, it's been essential. Uh, yes, yes, that's that's right. And so um, uh, in in some uh, European countries and in the, in the, in, the, in North America, there was a world essential workers hmm. during this period. Um, uh, cooperative is also a kind of essential uh, business hmm. uh, entity for hmm. or supporting the uh, members' daily lives. Hmm. And besides uh, the relationship with the uh, consumer co-op members, we collaborate <laughs> Mr. Ramana, we are losing your voice a little bit. <laughs> what is it? Uh, something. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, it's good now. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, besides uh, working with uh, working for the consumer co-op members, uh, we uh, work collaborate with. Uh, uh, cooperatives uh, with uh, agricultural cooperatives mm. mainly because mm. you know um, uh, like the other countries uh, here in Japan uh, the uh, agricultural producers uh, uh, many agricultural co -op producers um, uh, have lost uh, the market in particular those who are uh, supplying uh, uh, fresh produce to school uh, mm. canteens or the school lunch, uh, they uh, lost the uh, market because uh, the school were closed mm. because of the disease. And uh, uh, not only the fresh produce, but uh, milk was mm. a very big problem. Uh, mm. Here in Japan, uh, 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 almost all uh, primary schools and uh, many uh, secondary schools have a school lunch system and they mm. usually uh, uh, what to say uh, provide uh, milk mm. for each uh, student uh, pupils uh, every day but uh, those uh, market were, uh, has disappeared for last uh, two years month or three months. So um, the agricultural cooperatives members, or uh, in particular dairy cooperative members, lost uh, uh, the uh, uh, market to sell such uh, mm -hmm. products. So uh, consumer cooperatives uh, and jointly uh, uh, no, 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 uh, collaborated to sell such uh, redundant uh, milk and uh, mm. produce at the supermarket of consumer cooperatives. And mm. this is a, uh, one of the uh, say important uh, 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 let's see what you say <laughs> uh, collaboration uh, with yeah. uh, producers. This is also a, a principle of uh, cooperatives, uh, principle six of oh, yes. cooperation among cooperatives. Yes, among cooperatives, that's right, yes, yes. So this is a good example, I think, of that yeah, supply yeah, chain, yeah. that severe supply mm -hmm. chain and uh, through mm -hmm. producer, consumer, direct cooperative uh, yeah. link, yeah. you were able to uh, yes provide uh, them relief and access mm -hmm. uh, to market. So that's a very mm -hmm. good example. Uh, Mr. And, Obama, and, we are... Uh, may I tell... Yes. Yeah, okay. uh, another uh, example, uh, important one is that um, uh, uh, consumer cooperative uh, uh, in collaboration with the civil organization in uh, the community uh, 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 provided uh, uh, say a lot of uh, grocery items to uh, what we call a, uh, it's a food bank, food mm. banks, or uh, here in Japan we have uh, uh, children's cafeteria, so to say, and the canteen mm. for uh, the children, uh, 
mainly for uh, those who have difficulties in their lives. Mm. Uh, so uh, consumer cooperative collaborated with food banks or such uh, uh, children's cafeteria to provide um, uh, quality uh, and nutritious food for those uh, in need. people and children in need, yes. Mm. Um, Sir Ramona, thank you so much. We are uh, coming toward the end of uh, our uh, exchange, our conversation. I wanted to ask if you had any uh, last words, messages uh, to us uh, working at, at the ILO and the co -op unit to cooperators uh, who will be uh, an ILO constituent who will be uh, listening, watching uh, this interview. If you have any words, mm. uh, messages you would like to share. Uh, messages. Uh, you know, um, uh, again, I want to uh, uh, congratulate uh, the centenary of IR Cooperative Unit. Uh, um, uh, as for, for our side, for JCCU, it, uh, uh, it has been a very good uh, experience and um, uh, for the, all, uh, uh, not only for the JCCU staff, but also for the all the consumer cooperative uh, members and uh, other uh, cooperative members of other sectors uh, to work with IRO. It was a very good uh, experience, and uh, it is a very good experience. And we learn, we can learn a lot. Uh, through the collaboration uh, with the IR cooperative, cooperative unit. And so we uh, want to keep on this relationship and collaboration in the next uh, uh, centuries, to say. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we, uh, we have also benefited uh, from uh, Japanese Consumer Cooperative Union's seconding staff uh, for two uh, three-year ah, yeah. terms to the ILO Co-op unit, which allowed us to liaise and learn from Jap not just uh, Japanese consumer uh, cooperatives, but uh, Japanese cooperative experiences. So this has been uh, also a great learning, great privilege uh, for us. So we would like to thank you uh, yeah. for that uh, as well. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Roman. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>